Ham hey, from the Cubs Tales. Welcome back to another episode of Free Random Games, a series where I find some of the most random games out there on the internet, and I play them for you right here in this video. I can't promise that they're gonna be any good, but I can promise that we're gonna have some fun. So if you guys cool day down with that, everybody get ready and buckle up, cause here we go! First game of today's episode is called Ginger Dead Man, and if this dude is gonna dead me, then I have bigger problems than that, because there's nothing that's this tall that should be killing me, alright? You can interact with blinking objects by looking at them and pressing E. Got you. Okay, uh, let's do that. It's time to make a gingerbread man. Has anybody ever made a gingerbread man in their lives? I think I made one when I was a kid. Let's form a gingerbread man. Let's just take this big old poopy sprinkle, and well done. It's time to put him into the oven. All right, well, let's open this bad boy up. Perfect. Now, how about decorating what? How about decorating the tree, right? The Christmas tree. Okay, you got it. So this is my home. These are my ornaments. And there you go, everybody. Decorating the tree. I'm trying to get festive with these free random games right here. And there you go. It's pretty. It's cute. Now what do I do? Is he done? Oh, it is gone. But where did it go? Oh my! <laughs> I didn't expect him to become a huge bitch. Okay, you know what I said about the ginger dead man being this big? The ginger dead man is very big and girthy. There you are, but you are not ready yet. Yeah, you're not ready yet. So get back over here and let me dress you up. There you go. Now... Place it next to the milk. Santa will adore this gift. No more jump scares, please. Where's the milk? Is that the milk? All right, came back with the milk. Okay, I think I go to sleep. Santa is coming home. Let me see that big bouncy ass. I want to see him try to come down my chimney. Santa? Santa Claus? Where you at? He didn't even drink the milk. Drink it. Wait, I'm Santa Claus? Only milk that's sad. Oh, I'm playing as Santa. Okay, well, let's place the present under the tree. Oh my god! Fuck you. Next game in today's episode is called Closing It 2. You're playing as a bartender late at night and you have some very interesting customers, but it says, it's the 6th of September, about 70 degrees out, and the leaves are beginning to turn. Three things that nobody gives a shit about. Wednesdays are usually pretty slow at the Lakeside Inn, but they still have their regulars. Though I'd say slow is the usual here. In the past six months since getting hired, I have settled into a casual routine of mixing, shaking, and a lot more cleaning than I'd like to admit, aka doing your job, all while the locals and guests of the inn stop by for a casual drink. Things rarely get too rowdy, which I can appreciate. And it looks like another quiet night is about to begin. Henry grumbles. Good evening, Henry. Dude looks like 30-year-old Harry Potter. Ha, <laughs> good evening. How funny. I take it things didn't go so well in the office today? Do they ever? I'm convinced all the idiots get routed to me somehow. I already deal with that enough from my coworkers, though I don't expect the clients to be any better. Anyways, as you can tell, I'm in need of a drink. I actually couldn't tell because I don't drink, so I don't know what it looks like when someone needs a drink. Give me an old fashioned and don't forget the orange. Your wife wants an old fashioned for me. Open your notebook to see what goes into the drinks ordered. All right, let me see uh, an old fashioned. Whiskey, bitters, simple syrup, and an orange peel. Okay, whiskey, bitters, whiskey, bitters, simple syrup, orange peel. Okay, whiskey. There you go. Click the shake button when you've added all the ingredients. Okay, and then I need uh, orange juice, right? No, orange peel. See, I wasn't even gonna make old fashioned. That's why I needed to pull out the notes. I was about to make a new school or something. Here's an orange peel, right? Please, God, tell me this is an orange peel. Thank you. Okay, and then simple syrup, because we always need the simpliest. And I also need bitters. Okay, bitters. There you go. And now, let's shake that ass. Press space to stop the shaker in the green zone. All right, let's take it in the bone zone. Boom! And boop. And a slop. There you go. Thanks, kid. I'm a grown-ass man. Don't call me kid. You're the kid. Good job on the drink. Anyways, I'll probably be back. Henry sure is a character. 
I'm sure being an accountant is tough when people don't know how to handle their money. He'll definitely need a refill. Hey there! Hope you're having a good day so far. It was good, baby. Can't complain. How about you, Lisa? Not bad at all. Actually, I just finished writing my thesis. I guess taking a two-week writing retreat by the lake really helps getting stuff done. That's awesome. Sounds like a huge relief to be done with that. Oh, you have no idea. And with that, I'd like a mojito to celebrate. Coming right up. I've heard of a mojito. We need rum, club soda, simple syrup, lime juice, and mint. So what I'm going to do, everybody, because I don't want to keep opening this bitch, I'm going to try to remember. I'm going to use my mind. Rum, club soda, simple syrup, lime juice, and mint. All right. So let's get some rum in your tum. Lime juice. What else do we need? Oh, fuck me, suck me, senpai. Okay, you know what? I don't even want to mess this up. So we need lime juice, club soda. Okay. Club soda. I already put the club soda. And then we need a mint for your hot-ass breath. Please tell me that's a mint. That looks like a mint. Okay, and then now let's shake it. Boom. Bop. Slot till you drop. And please tell me this is it. I'm crossing my finger. What the heck is that? Uh, -huh. thanks. I have some things I need to take care of, but I'll be back for another one of those later. I'll see you later then. Good for her. Even from the first day she visited the bar, she seemed constantly tense. She's been coming in for a mojito nearly every day. I guess she really needed to take the edge off. I don't mind, of course. Lisa is a much better tipper than Henry. Hey, bud. Hope you're having an all right day. Hey, Marcus. Thanks for always checking in. How about you? Oh, uh, you know. Things can always get better. And they will get better. Especially if I get a drink in my hand. A tequila sunrise, please. I'll get that started right away. A tequila sunrise. I only know how to make a rum sunset. Tequila sunrise is tequila orange juice grenadine. I don't even know who that is. Orange peel and a maraschino cherry. Why do I feel like I've heard of that before? Tequila. Okay. Tequila. And then we need some of that orange juice. And then a maraschino cherry. Okay. You get two because I like you. And then I also need grenadine. Who the fuck is grenadine? There's grenadine. There you are, baby girl. And um, orange peel. Okay. So let's keep it real. Let's put an orange peel. And then let's shake that shit. Please be it. I want to make this with no, like, random eyeballs inside. Come on now. Did we get it? We did it? Oh, I'm definitely getting another one of these. Thanks. See ya. Lots of energy, that guy. Marcus loves starting conversations with anyone and everyone, always willing to listen to whatever's on your mind. He's a really genuine guy, but rarely talks about himself. He's been ordering a lot lately. I hope everything is okay. I better clean up and restock while I have the time. Hours pass, with the occasional customer here and there. It's just another night, another shift. That is, until I see a familiar face approaching the bar. Old. Fashioned. Make it extra. Zesty. Henry, are you all right? He wants me to make it extra zesty. Okay, you got it coming right up. Um, okay, one old-fashioned, extra zesty, coming right up. Okay, an old-fashioned with some extra zesty for my bestie. Whiskey, bitter, simple syrup, and orange peel. Okay, whiskey, and then syrup, and then bitters, and an orange peel, because we always got to keep it real, everybody. The orange peel keeps it real. Remember that rhyme. I think you learned that. It's like a, a nursery rhyme or something. But let's shake that up. And... Oh, my God. I think I got it wrong. This is... Wrong. He stands up and leaves without another word. Are we going to talk about the blood coming out the mouth? No? Okay. I've never seen Henry act like that. Is he drunk already? I better keep an eye on him. Hey, hey, hey. Lisa appears at the bar, but something is very wrong. It looks like she's been ripping the hairs from her head. Lisa, your hair. Shut up. Don't you know it's rude to talk about someone else's appearance? I know, but you're ugly as shit. Anyway, back for another mojito. This time I want double the bubbles. Remember, make it good, okay? Make it good? I don't know how to make it good. I just know how to make it the J way. Rum, club soda. Okay, let's put some club soda. And then let's put some rum. What's next? Simple syrup, right? Okay, simple as that. And then lime use. Gotta get loose with the juice and then a mint because you looking nasty. Nastier than your hot ass breath. So, boom. 
Bop. And a pow. Please tell me that there's no eyeballs. Come on. Oh, fuck. Uh-oh. Ugh. She says nothing. She continues to rip more hair from her head before leaving. What the hell is going on? She seemed fine a few hours ago. Should I get the first aid kit? For that? Nah. Before I can even think about what to do next, Marcus sits down at the bar, nearly unrecognizable. He appears to have a nosebleed, as well as an eye bleed? Please. Please! Marcus, are you? Please! Stronger! Stronger, dude, we need to get you to a duck. Stronger. No! Okay, okay. I'm on it. Wait, what does he want? He wants the tequila sunrise, right? Okay. So, tequila. And then orange juice. Got it. Grenadine, what you mean? Put that in there. Orange peel. And a machachino cherry before things get hairy and scary. One. A two. And a boo. This bartender is evil as shit. He must have came straight from hell or something because he's making these weird ass drinks. He starts sobbing, tears of blood streaming down his face. Marcus leaves, and I'm left with nothing but a terrible feeling in my gut. Dear God, I have no idea what's going on. None of them are listening to me. I did not sign up for this shit. Something messed up is happening right now. Still, I can't just leave them here. It's nearing 1 a.m. The place is nearly empty except for those three, but I can't look at them. They're really starting to freak me out. Call it like it is, they're looking ugly. They're looking oogly googly. The bar closes soon anyway. I should start packing up and getting the hell out of here. But what am I supposed to do about them? Before I could even think about doing anything, I see Henry approaching the bar counter yet again. Not this guy. I have this horrible feeling. I might not make it to closing time. Henry sits before you, smiling even wider than before. Suddenly, he bursts into a loud fit of laughter, causing you to drop your notebook. Before you get the chance to pick it up, he slams his fist on the bar and demands a drink. Make it strong, then make it stronger! And don't forget the orange, kid! Okay, he wants, um, whiskey, right? And then, uh, <laughs> simple syrup, right? I don't know, bitters? I remember that. And then, oh shit, that's a mojito. Oh, don't do this to me. Hold on, let me make it a little bit stronger. Let me give you that double shot of love. Okay, one, two. I messed up, didn't I? Please, no eyeball. Oh, what? Did I just shake that out? What just happened? Press space to retry. Okay, uh, here we go, here we go. Whiskey. And then simple syrup? And then bitters. An orange peel. And then to make it stronger, a little bit more whiskey, right? Come on. Everybody just relax. It's almost closing time. What's that one song? Closing time. Oh, fuck. What the heck? I don't know what to do. Make it strong, then make it stronger. Okay. So what, you want like three of these? Is that what you mean? Please tell me I'm doing this right. Did I have to add ice? Okay, I don't. Simple syrup, orange peel, and then bitters. I think that's it. I don't know what to do. Okay, let's try three because we did two and then he just threw it back in our face. He basically threw it up back in our face and then two of these because he wants it extra zesty and then let's do some simple syrup and then just one of the bitters because we don't even know what the hell that is. I have no idea what bitters are. I mean, it sounds disgusting, but you know what? Everyone has their own taste. So let's shake this shit up and yes. Thank you. I watch as he downs the drink in a flash before once again laughing hysterically and walking away. Ugh. <sighs> fresh. Make it fresh. Hell, I need more citrus. You need more citrus. I don't even know how to make the thing that you want. I think it's rum, right? Okay, rum, orange juice, um, lime juice, a mojito. I mean, not mojito. You want a mojito. Let me shake that. Please tell me that's it. I can't remember off the top of my head. Like, gun to my head, you might as well shoot because I don't know how to make a mojito. Please, please, no eyeballs, please. Fuck! Come on, man. Damn, what the heck? So I went back and took a picture of the recipes because I'm not a bartender, everybody. Why even lie to myself? 
It's club soda and it's simple syrup. I didn't add the simple syrup. And then what's the other one? Uh, mint and then lime juice. Okay, so in order to make it fresh Then that means you want that Right, please tell me but she says that she needs citrus and isn't citrus orange juice Maybe I'm supposed to add like either an orange peel or orange juice Okay, hold on. Let me see what she says again Make it fresh Hell, I need more citrus. Okay, she needs more citrus. So, what I'm gonna do, I think it's rum, and then club soda, simple syrup. She wants more lime juice, right? Because that's more citrus. And then one of those. Please. Come on, come on, come on. Let me be bartender of the year. Fuck this. Did I get it in the green? Please tell me I did. No eyeballs. No eyeballs. God! Okay, I don't know what you mean by making it more fresh. Okay, rum. And then let's do two of these. And then two of these. Because more citrus and more fresh. That means you want at least two of them. And then simple syrup. Club soda. And let's shake that ass. Come on. Let me shake my BBO. Let me shake my BBO. Come on. Talk to me, lady. Talk to me. Please. Yes! Holy crap. Oh, kid, you're the best. This is too much. Please. Marcus? I want to see the sunrise. I just need more. Everything. Bro, your eye is literally hanging past curfew. You need to see more than just the sunrise. Okay. Um, Tequila. He wants more of everything. Okay. So, two tequilas. And then... Two of the grenadines, I mean grenadines, and then two of the oranges, right? And then two of the cherries. What is the other one? Is it club soda? It mm, orange juice. I think it's orange juice. That sounds like a sunrise. Oh shit! I forgot to put two. I forgot to put two of the orange juice. My bad. I know it's gonna be an eyeball. Fuck! My bad, dude. Two tequilas. So, two tequila. I'm sorry, everybody. That was a bad joke. Two orange juice. There you go. Two oranges. You better mean everything that you said about needing more. Because I'm really trying to put more. I'm doing the most. And saying the least. And acting the zestiest. Come on. Yes! Oh, thank you. So good. I could give you a hug. What's happening to you? One by one, the regulars leave. The clock strikes two. I clean my station. I was my equipment. You were your equipment? I take a drink. I drink and I drink and I drink. Until it's just me all alone at the Lakeside Inn. Thanks for playing? Really? That's the most unsatisfying ending ever. That's like watching a movie that starts to get interesting, and then the characters in the movie jump out of the TV and just take a fat shit on your chest. <laughs> Last game today's episode is called Grandfather Simulator. I don't even know why I'm playing this. By the title screen, it already looks like it sucks the most. It looks older and stinkier than any grandfather that I'm about to play as. But I made this game alone. If you have any complaints or suggestions, write to the mail. I wish you a good game. Now I feel bad. I feel bad because I was talking shit and I didn't even get to play it yet. But here we go. I'm a grandfather. And there's old Rex. <laughs> Fuck old Rex. I'm just kidding. I love you old Rex. What do I do? Uh, let me throw the ball to old Rex. Fetch old Rex. Thank you. That's a wolf. That's a fucking werewolf. That's not old Rex. That's sir. I call- I don't know what's happening right now. But I can't imagine this is what grandfathers see when they take their pills. I'm ringing my bell though. Can I please get back to earth? What is going on? Bro, here, Rex, fetch. Fetch the ball. Go, Rex, go. Get old Rex. Oh, my fucking... Hmm. <laughs> I played too many scary games to not react to whatever that was. Damn. Okay, bring me a whole buffet. I see you, baby girl. Damn, all right. We might have to do that one thing you've always wanted, you know? Oh, three donuts? Now you're talking my language. 
Her hair looked like the back of a curtain or something. It looked like one of those car wash things when it flaps over your car and washes the car. That's what that shit looks like. But let me eat these donuts. And let me see what's on TV, I guess. That better not be copyrighted. Fascinating dialogues? People playing chess. Okay, you know what? No, 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 no. Let's turn off the TV. And Rex. Go fetch Rex. Go fetch it, Rex. Yeah, oh, Rex. Talk to me, Rex. So, the stomach pills make these little goblins pop out. They got ass, though. God damn. What do I do? Let me take sleeping pills. After drinking these pills, you'll fall asleep and wake up only at night. Are you sure? Yes. Because I don't know what else to do. This cannot be grandfather simulator. What the heck? Control your bladder. Press the buttons on time. Okay, let's do this. G. And N. We got this. That dude doesn't even look like a grandfather. He just looked like a random middle-aged bearded man. I feel attacked right now. I really do. If this dude has to go downstairs to go to the bathroom, that's an evil world we live in. It's a sick world we live in for a senior citizen to have to go down the steps to use the bathroom. But luckily for us, the bathroom is on the same floor. But this guy just walks so bad. I guess he can't hold his sphincter or something. Like once he like opens it up, the juice pops loose. Take Rex home. Make sure that this dog is not distracted. Isn't Rex already home? Why wouldn't Rex be home? I thought Rex was our dog. Why the fuck am I holding a spear in my hand? Oh, it's a crutch. Rex is growling at this guy. <laughs> Rex is a bad dog. Bro's over here growling at people when he has no leash. Come on. Let's go. Bad boy. Bad boy. Am I supposed to hit him? Hold on. No freaking way. I got your back like chiroprac, Rex, but I am not assaulting people for no reason. You know what? Yes, I am. Come here. I'm a senior citizen. I get a pass. Damn it. Okay, we have to take Rex home. This is the most ridiculous game ever. This dude could barely hold it together going to the bathroom. He's over here walking like an after-school special while he's walking his dog, Rex. And he's barking like crazy at a fire hydrant, so let me smack that. Come on. What do you want me to do? Oh, shoot. All right. I'm pretty sure that's like a thousand dollar fine because you're not supposed to touch fire hydrants like that But yeah, we're just walking Rex home in the middle of buffuck nowhere. Uh oh He's gonna see her. He's gonna see a baddie. Oh boy Rex don't do it. Don't do it Rex. Don't fall in love Rexy <laughs> What is this bro? Chill this is so dumb. Let me hit that sign. I can't, everybody. I don't know what I'm playing. I don't know why I'm playing, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it for you all. This game is sponsored by Nike because I just did it. Not another one of these. Here we go. Oh! This is so freaking dumb, everybody. Please tell me this is my home. I've seen this girl at least three times, bro. Not another one of these. <laughs> Rex is an evil ass dog, bro. <laughs> that stance looks straight out of hell or something. He just had that like most evil stare. How many times are we gonna see this dog with a damn bow? This better be my house. Please. Oh, yes. <laughs> We did it. Thank you, audience. I made this game alone. If you have any complaints or suggestions, write to the mail. I wish you a good game. That's it? No. That was it. That was it! Holy fuck! All right, everybody, but that's gonna do it for this episode of Free Random Games. Hopefully, you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!